how about we talk about Manchester City? That's how we'll start the show off. Because once again, listen, I think this is going to be a dominating news story for quite some time. And, and with these things, look, it, it will roll on. And it may not be resolved very quickly, um, but for the moment, there is a lot coming out of Manchester City. So the club has called on the help of Lord Panic KC, which is kind of <laughs> a, um, ironic, isn't it? He is the highest profile barrister in Britain. Now, the club begins its defence against these alleged breaches of financial regulations. So he's previously represented City when they overturned the Champions League ban imposed by UEFA for that one back in 2020, if you remember that. If they're found guilty, the reigning Premier League champions, they could be booted out of the league. I think that's worst case scenario. Um, there are few things in between mm. there, obviously, that could happen too. But Gabby, what was your reaction when you heard it? Because it, this is a big investigation. I think when, when I first heard it, I was a bit shocked you know i thought surely clubs would be more clever with what they're doing and you know you can't get away with anything now in football you know the premier league would have been on man city doing their research on what they've done and now they could end up starting next season with 14 15 points um deduction you've seen this season happen to juventus in uh, Serie A. they lost points now they probably won't qualify for the champions league but I think speaking to Arsenal fans that I know and used to Arsenal fans as well, would you rather Man City lost points this season? Would you rather Arsenal win it without any help? I genuinely, look, if I, I don't care either way because yeah. if they did lose points, it's because they've done something wrong and yeah. they've benefited from that. And I, and I don't care if it's this season, people say, oh, it happened historically. A club will benefit from winning things. And it's if they've more, done that from, the wrong, from yeah. the wrong channels, then the money's come into the system and they've benefited from that throughout the rest of the years. So to me, I'd, I, it wouldn't be a case if, it's a big if, yeah. if Arsenal went on to win the league and City got points deducted this season, which I don't think will happen, um, That's that will be has what to be has points, to happen. Though. It can't be money. I, I don't want to see £50 million pound fine. I don't want to see that because they'll pay that you know, out of their wallet. I want to see like points deduction and maybe if it's, it takes a few months to go through, then start on next season, they start on minus. I think the, the team's more devastated will be the ones who come second when they've won the league and where they broke the rules and said well we, we should have won the league yes. that year then probably the Chelsea's we, we and abided, United we Liverpool. abided by the rules and they haven't and we would we would have probably won that league that year this year it's a little bit yeah. different because you, you, you still got um, games to play but you can't change the history of what's happened they need um, to make a statement as well don't they in the Premier League so that other clubs don't but this will rumble on for quite a while yeah. I mean it's a, it's a big long court case to be and obviously Man City have gone straight in and get the best man they can get to... he's on 150 grand a week isn't he but does that go into the spreadsheet <laughs> as well he's on 80 <laughs> grand a day which is more than some of the players I think someone, <laughs> I think someone mentioned that about the spreadsheet does that does yeah. these are wages go into Kevin well? De Bruyne would be going in for a new deal wouldn't he he'd want more money he'd <laughs> yeah. be like the, the lawyer's getting paid more than me you tell me you <laughs> tell me I'm the... tell me what panic's on get me panic's wages yeah. actually I want what he's, what he's it's, getting. it's five grand an hour is that close to what you charge us um, no divide that by uh, ten <laughs> Still quite a lot. <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah, li listen. They, you they, should have said 20. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> they, they, ob they obviously, if they're going to bring in a big lawyer like this, look, they're taking it seriously. And, and all well, the journalists are saying, look, this is this is master, this is unprecedented. Um, like you say, Ray, I think it'll take I a while. I don't think it, it affect the players, though. The players have no. still got so much don't to play you? for this season. What, what, about happens? Pep, what about Pep? Because um, you've seen his quotes about if... You well, know, he's found guilty if he, if old walk. Well, he's, nothing, to he's nothing to do with it, is he? I mean, I know look, he's brought the players in and whatever, but he <laughs> he trusted. Yeah, yeah, he trusted, he trusted the guys him, to yeah. say, well, but, you know, we we can afford it, we can do it, we can do this deal, we can do that deal. So it's not down to Pep Guardiola. No, but, no, but I know what you're saying then, Gabs, because he's basically said, look, if if they are lying to me and if yeah. something is wrong, this was before, right? This was the previous um, allegations. Then he would say, I'm, I'm out. Yeah, but he's not going to be out now, is he? Because it's going to take ages to go through and yeah. Yeah, there'll be appeals, there'll be this, there'll be that. Say start this season, season. Say pre-season and they're found guilty. I think Pep would walk. Maybe then, yeah. but he's still not got now. a lot. He's got 18 games to go. Yes, and he's still got a chance of winning the Premier League. They've got two ga games against Arsenal still. If they beat Arsenal twice, then they're but imagine, big favourites to imagine, win the Premier League. Imagine still. worst case scenario for you, Pep, and Manchester United win the league. And it hasn't Don't gone through. Don't try and get back in the Man United. Uh, no, but it hasn't, yeah. no, but it hasn't gone, if it hasn't gone through Good then. Fans. <laughs> Arsenal fans are going to be saying, and Man United fans are going to be saying, like, why haven't they lost points? Why hasn't it gone through before the end of the season? You can know, the worst case to win it. Can I ask? Well, as, the worst thing a, for people, sorry, Laura, yeah. is, is that if they don't get uh, deducted points this season, then 
they're going to be in the Champions League next year. And then oh, someone's yeah. going to miss out on the Champions yes. League, maybe. Potentially. Potentially. Yes. And allegedly, we have to say about allegedly, all of this as well. Of because we just have to wait to see what, what happens, really. I just wondered what it meant for the landscape of, of players. Ray doesn't think it will affect players wanting to no. join. But but I, if I were um, a young player and I'm about to make my, my big move, should I be concerned about these allegations? I think it could affect some players. But I just think Manchester City, they're going to pay the wages. You know, you got Pep Guardiola there. But you're right, Laura, I feel that it's going to be on your mind. Like, I could sign in the summer and then a couple of months later, point deduction, you know, your Pep Guardiola could leave. Will that affect someone like Jude Bellingham wanting to go to Manchester City? It's a, it's a valid point. What about... It's all a bit... It, look, it's all ifs, is it? Yeah. You don't know what's going to happen, yeah? Mm. They could get cleared of all the... And yes. everybody moves on, what, so... What about the current players that are watching all of this play out? Is, it, is that going to get in your mind at all? Pick I don't think so, no. And... I think I think the current players will be thinking, I'm just going to concentrate on my football. And then if this does happen and they do get point deduction or relegated at worst case scenario or Pep leaves, then some of the players have big decisions to make, won't they? Mm. If they want to leave and go somewhere else. But at the moment, no, you concentrate on your football, don't you? Absolutely. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.